Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson I'm going to be working on the Irish Hornpipe, the King of the Fairies. It also goes by a couple other names. There's a couple different versions out there, so I'm just going to sort of play the one I mostly know. I'm not super familiar with this song, but I've had a lot of requests to do it, so I'll, uh, I'll try to get through it here. Um, play it first, I'll play it through so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then I'll break it down into sections so you can try to learn it by ear. The B part of this tune uh, kind of meanders along and takes a little longer than your average B part, so if you do need help with either tabs, standard notation, play along tracks, or chords to play along with, those are available for free over at mandolessons.com along with a bunch of other lessons. There's also a couple ways to donate to the website over there and in the description of this video. It helps me put out new lessons every week, which is greatly appreciated, but the lessons will always be free if that's your choosing. So getting back to the music, uh, King of the Fairies, I'll play it through once and then break it down. One, two, three, four. So there is the whole form of the tune. As you can maybe hear, that B part keeps moving right along. Um, so I'm going to kind of truck right along through this. I'll probably take it at a quicker pace and you're just uh, recommend slowing down the video or um, kind of pausing it as much. But if I try to do all of that in one lesson, it'll be like 40 minutes long and my camera will run out of batteries. But I'll, I'll, I'll break it down into sections as best as I can and move along from there. So first phrase starts with a pickup note, fourth fret on the G string, and then downbeat is the second beat, the second fret on the D string. One, two, three, four. Again, here we go. Next phrase. So do that again with those pickups. And again. those two phrases together it sounds like this the next phrase is the same as the first 
and then a little bit different. Let's do that much again. One more. Then we have this kind of C sharp, which is a, kind of sounds a little bit out of key, but um, it's it's within. It's just a note you don't hear a whole lot in this tune. That might be one of the few times you hear that C sharp in the tune. Um, and because we haven't heard it before, it, it it sounds new and different. So we have. So this is the last phrase, that pick up C sharp. We have that little first fret, um, E flat or D sharp. I would say D sharp because it's in E minor. Um, so let's put that second half together, sounds like this. All right, so let's play the whole, that's all of the parts for the A part. Let's put all of that together, um, and then it'll lead into the B part. So one, two, three. And then the B part has this pickup fifth fret on the A string, and it leads into the downbeat, which is the open E string. Let's do that again. Again. Next phrase. That's a squirrely one, but I think you can get it again. And again. One more time. Uh, put those two phrases together, sounds like this. Three, four. Sorry, one more time. Next phrase is very similar to the first. Let's do that again. So rather than hitting two open E's, you have an open E and then second fret on the A. One more time. ending phrase of this part of the B section. <laughs> and again. One more 
more time. Let's do the whole B part up to there. Here we go. One, two, three. Do that much again, here we go. All right, and now we're into this little secondary part of the B section. Sounds like this. Sorry, I'll do that one more time. Let's do that much again with those pickups. One more. Here we go. Next phrase. There's a little pickup open E string. the squirreliest little phrase in the in the whole tune let's do that much one more next part of that squirrely phrase together. One, two, three, four. Sorry. <laughs> two, three, four. All right. Let's put all of that kind of s alternate part of the B section. I don't really know what to call this, um, but let's put that together. It sounds like this. Two, three, Do that one more time. Two, three. And then it's going to go back into sort of a ending phrase that sounds like this. So uh, with that last phrase. do that much. Again. Again. And then rather than holding out that second open E, it's going to sound like this. Again. Sorry. Uh, two, three, four. And then the final phrase. Again. One more. All right, so this, that's, that's the end of the B part. So we kind of have what I think of as, and this will help if you're looking at the music, you kind of have those uh, first eight measures 
kind of sound like the B part. And then you have this sort of continuation of the B part, which has a new little theme for the next four bars. And then the final four bars of the B part kind of return you to the A part a little bit. Um, so I'll play the whole B part through now um, so you can have a sense of what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. Here's the little continuation. This is the return to the A part sounding section. We'll do that one more time. Continuation. Ending. Whew. All right, that's the whole B part. It's really, it does keep going on. Um, but really, I think listening to it a lot and also taking a look at the form in the sheet music can be helpful. But I think ultimately just listening to it a bunch of times is going to be your greatest aid. Okay, let's see if we can get through the whole tune. One, two, three, four. Continuation. Part again. Continuation. got through it there um so once again listening to this tune a lot is going to be your biggest benefit there's the play along tracks uh sheet music over at mandolessons.com as well as a lot of other tunes that are not this complicated um so if you made it through this one congratulations now reward yourself with a straight ahead old time tune or something like that uh thanks for watching hope to see you again soon Bye bye